Okay, people, here's another one of my exercise videos I'm trying to do. I'm going to get better at this, but I'm going to make my Fitbit uh, exercise. So you can't see. It says bike, push bike. Then it says connecting. And then it has a time. Okay. So I'm going to bike for half an hour watching TV. I'm actually going to do an hour watching my TV shows. So I've got the bike in my living room. Hopefully everybody can see okay. Uh, oh gosh. All right. Let's see. We watching Hot Bench. So we're gonna warm up for about Hot Bench. Judge Tanya Acker. Judge Patricia Domingo. I'm Vitaline. <laughs> Whatever. I'll thank you to use the other side. I can I be fo I can be focused. Oh my gosh. Okay, so after five minutes, we're going to stretch. So stretching is very important. So just get a nice rhythm. Remember, if you don't have a bike, you can do marching in place, right? Which is just like this, right? I'll be exercising for an hour, but I'm gonna speed up the tape or whatever. Stephen's work on the truck. Very cute. You gave Stephen a motorcycle. I, you're gonna get seen on the video if you go that way. You gotta go on the other way. <coughs> the dog was on the bed because I thought you were in there, so I left the door open. My dog, Maximus, was on the bed again like he always is. Got no ability to train a bad dog. The defendant promised he was correct. You paid another thousand dollars, even though the leak wasn't fixed. And Stephen disappeared, and he never completed the work on the truck. Mr. Romero said Stephen's deal with the plaintiff had nothing to do with you. Correct. You had a separate deal with the plaintiff for the sale of your Corvette. He didn't finish paying you for the Corvette. Him for $4, so just go march in place, whatever. We're gonna do five minutes, and then we're gonna stretch. It's good to stretch so that your muscles hopefully don't get as sore. So you want to stretch right after. I started a food truck company called Papa Pop. I talked to Steven before. Okay, so what we know about stretching is a lot of times people will stretch before they go for a run. But stretching a cold muscle is kind of useless, although people are in the habit of doing it. I'm gonna turn this down <laughs> to four. I had it all the way up to the nine. I'm sorry, eight is the highest, one is the lightest. So I turned down to four. So anyway, even though people are in the habit of stretching before a run, uh, stretching a cold muscle is kind of useless, even though it's kind of practice. So what you want to do is stretch the muscle once the muscle is warmed up. So after doing this for five minutes, your muscle will be plenty warm and you can stretch your leg muscle, your thigh, your quads, your arms, and then get back on the bike. So that's the plan today. Okay, back on with the show. I purchased this truck. This is the truck we're talking about? My truck here? Yes, ma'am. So the reason I'm suing Michael is because they actually operate the business together. And what business? What business? Just try to get a rhythm, you know. I've come to them for, for repairs and um, stuff like this, you know, since I've met them. Do they actually, I mean, let me ask you, Mr. Romero. So I've been on for four minutes and I've already burned. 15 calories, which is good. Cycling and running and swimming are high calorie burners for car carbs. Cardio, cardio, cardio. You give Stephen a motorcycle. Yes, I give him a 1997 GSF 600S with 9,000 miles on it. Okay, so let's stick with the truck for a minute. So you give Stephen the truck in May 2020. Stephen, where do you do this work? I do it in the driveway. Of your home? 
Yes, and I only I only did it as a friendly deal with a friend. You live in the same house with your father? Yes, ma'am. Uh, he actually did the work at my friend Jason's garage. That's and... not material at okay. this moment. So may we give him the freight truck? What was he supposed to do exactly? He was just supposed to replace the, the flywheel. Let me and clarify that. And this is the motorcycle that you bartered in exchange for the work on the truck? Okay, I'm going to let my dog out. That wasn't in that exact condition. Uh, the, the, only, the only issue with the bike was the throttle cable. And um, he actually seen the bike prior. And Doesn't matter. Stephen, you wanted to clarify. Yes, I also uh, was assisting with repairing and replacing the roof. In order to turn it into a food truck, it needed a metal roof, which I actually completely removed the uh, fiberglass roof so that it could turn into a metal roof. So I just want to encourage you to put your cycle or make space in your living room or your TV room so you're just not sitting there mindlessly watching TV when you could be walking around the the room, marching and plays, um, even doing this, anything to get your blood pumping and burn some calories. I'm going to do one hour of exercise six days a week, so I got to get back up to running, but I don't want to, I don't feel like running. June, you alleged he disappeared and you couldn't get in touch with him. Just about two or three weeks after he started working on my truck, he got a job, he said, and he was working in Santa Fe and he wasn't able to contact me. Okay, so you've been engaged in another transaction with the actual defendant in this case. Right. You bought his court Okay, so we've been cycling for about six minutes, so at this time I'm going to pause. Yes, ma'am. My Fitbit, and I'm gonna get up and stretch. Okay, so remember, it's better to stretch um, a warm muscle. So you can put your thigh like this and stretch over this way. Does she want to go outside? Uh, she, okay, and we in the, in the army you would stretch for 30 seconds, <laughs> but that seems so long. But whatever. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010, 1011, 1012, 1014, 1015, 1016, 1017, 1018, 1019, 1020. I'm just going to go to 20. And now as I get older, my muscles and everything are so sore. Okay, I'm going to do where I'm facing my leg. And go down. So like, I'm stretching right here, the thigh, and I'm leaning into my leg. So I'm facing my foot. So it's 1001, 1002, 1012, 1013, 1014, 1015, 1016, 1017, 1018, 1019, 1020. And you can, I can really feel it back here because I've been working out and it kind of sucks because when you're out of shape, that's how you know that your muscles are working because they're sore. Okay, so I'm stretching the inner part. So, uh, I got this little tight shirt on because I can't find my other shirt. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, 1,011, 1,012, 1,013, 1,014, 1,015, 1,016, 1,017, 1,018, 1,019, 1020. Okay, uh, okay. And you can feel that in your um, <laughs> gluteus maximus. Okay, so I got my calf like on the seat. I'm facing my foot and now stretching. This is right here is a real long stretch. And you want to go slow and try to go down further until you feel, you know, feel the stretch. If you can go down further, that's awesome. Just go slowly. And remember, the muscle's warm, so it's better to stretch the warm muscle than the cold muscle. So we're going to start 1006, 1007, 1008, 
1,019, 1,020. Ah, I can really feel that. Right here, my muscle is very tight. And then we're gonna do our calves. You know, press back at the heel and push forward. 1,001, you can't really see it, but you know what I'm doing. So 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 13, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, okay? So you're going to put your foot flat on the ground, put your heel, push your heel back, and then bend your knee and lean forward so that your leg that you're stretching is straight, okay, like that. You can't really see it, but whatever. So 1,001, 1,002, I mean... 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, 1,011, 1,012, 1013, 1014, 1015, 1016, 1017, 1018, 1019, 1020. Okay. Okay, so we get back on the bike. Your legs are stretched, which is better. And now while you're cycling, okay, I'm going to turn my Fitbit back on. You can stretch your arms, right? 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, 1,011, 1,012, 1,013, 1,014, 1,015, 1,016, 1,017, 1,018, 1,019, 1,020, then the other one, and just stretching your shoulder and your arm, upper arm here, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, 1,011, 1,012, 1,013, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, 1,011, 1,012, 1,014, 1,015, 1,016, 2019, 2020, and then probably feel a little good in your, and then right here, you go and put your arms back like that. 1,001, bring them up as high as you can. 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,014, 1,015, 1,016, 1,017, 1,018, 1,019, 1,020. Oh, sometimes it's stretching. People used to say, oh, stretching can sometimes make you tired. And I never understood that. So I guess now that I am 52, I understand it a little bit. All right, so right now, I just got my bike on four because I am getting hot and my temperature is rising. So, got nine minutes and 34 seconds. Yeah, only like 50 more minutes to go, people, and we'll be going. All right, I want to take a moment 
And you all can comment in the comment section. I tell you what, my life is really busy. I got so much stuff to do. I'm gonna have to cut something out because it's too much, you know? I started my business. I got my YouTube channel. I got my part-time job. I got, I'm a wife. I gotta take care of these two dogs. I gotta organize my house, trying to get rid of all the stuff that I have. My husband's helping with that upstairs, of course, because I told him we got a lot of stuff from 40 plus years combined in the military. So we've got stuff, you know, as you travel and you go and you just accumulate all this stuff that you don't use or don't even see. And I tried and tried to get rid of it, but I couldn't. I told my husband I can't do it. We got to hire somebody to do it, but he didn't want to do that because of money. So he said he'll do it. So he has done a great job upstairs and I hope <laughs> that I'm doing a great job downstairs. Um, I'm going to paint or get this here painted. This green, apparently the color I picked, apparently is too dark for this room. So white or off white or eggshell is the color for the house to make it look bigger and more modern, I guess. Although I like classic and traditional anyway, I go on. So why don't you put in the comment section, uh, some things that are just getting on your nerves, right? Like, you know, your wife, your mother, your a single person, you're dating somebody, you know, you're trying to juggle your job or maybe you're home working from your computer, whatever, just put in the comment section, you know, put in, you know, I am tired of having to do all of this stuff and just talk to yourself about what you're going to do to do better because I'm focusing on too many things and I got to be successful, you need to really, you know, get focused and Without a military job, y'all, I am struggling, struggling. Because in the military, everything was dress the right dress. That means everything has to be in a line, everything's gotta be in order. But when you're left to, when I left my own devices, uh, without that structure, man, it's not good for me. It is not good for me at all. So it's really difficult for me to focus. And right now I said, um, I changed my goal from losing weight to developing a healthier lifestyle. Okay, I'm gonna turn it up one more. Ooh, Lord, I'm gonna turn it down to five. Okay, just one more, not two. I tried to turn it up to two, tried to turn it up from four to six. No, ma'am, no, ma'am, I had to turn that back down to five. So we doing at five. And I don't know why it's so hard. The other day, it seemed like I was doing a lot more, I guess, because I wasn't running my mouth and talking. Okay, so I'm gonna watch some more hot bench. And hopefully y'all are watching TV or whatever. Y'all can turn down the sound or whatever. Again, to the new location where the truck was to retrieve the tools and the property that you've left in the truck. Now, did you do that? <laughs> no, ma'am. Okay, at 15, we're gonna stand, sit up, you know? Um, for about 10 seconds. I texted Michael the day that Jason texted me and told me that Stephen had taken the tools out of the truck. And so Jason had to get a mechanic other than them and he paid them $1,000 for the truck to be repaired so that it could be moved. And so I was gonna have to pay him back. Uh, exhibit E, if you could take a look at that for me. The screwdriver underneath the, the truck was used to break the hook, and now the truck back doesn't close at all. Something isn't clear. So okay, so we're going to get up in 10 seconds and ride in the up position for 10 seconds. And I tell you what, you, um, I'm going to turn it all the way up. You know, I got my little Walmart special. And uh, if you're not stable, that's what you're going to have to do. Okay, so here we go. Okay, one th oh, Lord. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 1,001, 1, 1,002. 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010. Okay. And then back down to five. Oh, you know what else? I didn't get any water either. 
I think I'm gonna take off my. Okay, I have my lens. I can't see nothing. Do you have diabetes? If you have diabetes, it increases your risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. New research shows that if you don't have diabetes in your body, you can still have it in your brain. Certain toxic fats can create insulin resistance that kills brain cells and reduce your risk. Avoid smoked meats, processed foods, white flour, and sugar. Sponsored by the Cardiac Connection, specialized own healthcare for cardiovascular patients. Experience how we're putting heart in the home. Dr. Oz is in there talking about, hope you, you can hear him, diabetes and Alzheimer's. And my father had diabetes, and my mom said, you know, we're pulling for diabetes. But uh, my dad said he was the only one in his family that had it, but I've always been concerned about Alzheimer's, always. So they said avoid uh, processed meats, and I love bologna, bacon, processed meats like uh, hot dogs, bologna, and white sugar and flour. So I guess you're probably healthier if you don't eat lunch meat or bacon or refined sugar or enriched flour. Probably just stick to wheat flour, uh, raw sugar probably. And then real food, not processed meat. And some of the healthier lifestyle. I don't buy that processed meat, but I love bologna. So when there's bologna in there, I want to eat it. So I put it on my diet, my food log. And it's like 180 calories for one slice, like 33 grams of fat. So it's really no good for you. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we're at 1623. I'm going to turn it up to six and try to keep the same, you know, the same rhythm. <sighs> Whoo, I'm sweating. I don't know about you all, but I'm sweating. Whoo. Okay, so if you're biking with me, if it gets tiring and you get too tired, um, instead of stopping, just take it down. Like you can take it down to one. See, it's easier with one or two. Try to just keep going. All right. I put it up to six. I'll probably stay with six the whole time. Also, there's two ways to stand up on your bike, right? You can stand straight up like this. I don't want to do that because it cuts my head off the picture. <laughs> Okay, or you can get up where you're bent over like this. Okay. I'm going to move it back so I can do the standing up one. Okay, so let's do 10 seconds up in, uh, I think they said position two. So, okay, in five seconds. So five, four, three, two, one. Okay, up. Get out of here, it goes tall. One, thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand, ten, one thousand. Woo! Okay. That's making my legs burn. Like arm fire. Well, you don't run it yet. I need a bill of sale to prove that I actually purchased it or gave him some money for it. You know, but he wouldn't provide that for me. And that's what, that was making me nervous. Why could you not provide him to start with a bill of sale? Okay, we're at 77 calories so far. My heart rate is 127, which is a good rate. I was just giving him a little over a month. And at that point, he was going to get the title, the bill of sale, everything. I get the fact that you're not going to give him the title. It's still yours until he pays for it in full. So the bill of sale doesn't change that. But he wants something to say, I bought this car from you just for some reason. If he gets pulled over, at least he has some evidence. Were you able to drive this vehicle? Uh, no, I wasn't. I, the, the first week I had the car, I got pulled over, and they told me that if I didn't have a bill of sale. And that's my point. The problem here is, is everybody was waiting for somebody to do something, almost as a condition precedent, to doing what their initial obligation was. Your obligation was to pay him for a car you took. Your obligation was to give him the appropriate documentation for the car you sold him. You went to him, you ended up buying a car, you couldn't afford, <coughs> and you knew you couldn't afford it. No, I really couldn't afford it. Okay, so the deal, the, the issue was is, the reason why I bought this food truck is because Stephen agreed to help me fix it. Okay. And he was helping you, but then he stopped. And then he stopped, right. Okay. And, but and, how does that have anything to do with his thought? Okay, so at 20 minutes, 
We're going to do a position three, which is up, and then with your butt kind of like back over the seat. And you can see how it works your legs and stuff. Working your legs or your big muscle groups gets your heart rate up. Whenever you, met, whenever you work your legs, your thighs, um, your big muscle groups like that, gets your heart rate really going. More than it would, say, if you're just doing your arms or something. Okay, it's 20 minutes. So, we're going to get up in position three. And remember, that's over your seat with your butt kind of bent back. So, here we go. Up. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, so one 1,000, two 1,000. Three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, eight one thousand, nine one thousand, ten one thousand. Woo! Okay, sit down. Let's go position two all the way up for ten seconds. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. Ooh! Put your um, thing all the way up. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, eight one thousand, nine one thousand, ten one thousand. Woo! And back down. And you take it down. I take mine down to six. Woo! The number one brand just got better. At the insurance stuff, the service is our specialty. We can do business face to face by phone. I know I wish I had some water. Where's my water? And don't forget, you can throw in your own personal agent for free. So call us today and see why I say nobody beats the insurance stock. Why would you buy life? Okay, so I'm gonna have to go get my water real quick. It's simple. When other companies say they say so your money. If you don't have water, you can take a water break. So let's just take a water break. Okay, go now. It works like this. If you pass away while you're insured, your loved ones get a check for the coverage amount you chose. But if you're still living at the end of the term, you get back all the money you paid, guaranteed. Spend it any way you wish. While others may talk about saving you money, Senior Life is the only one giving it all back. Return a premium term life insurance. Gives you protection if you need it, and 100% cash back if you don't. Get all your money back with return a premium life insurance from Senior Life. Call the number on your screen now for free information. You have no obligation. Call now. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully, y'all are back. Okay. It's about 21 minutes. We only have 40 more minutes to go. Yay! Only 40 more minutes. Okay. I thought my I thought my camera had stopped recording. I was gonna freak out. All right. So listen. Back to me. Okay, people. <laughs> and I want you to share your issues too. But I couldn't find my shirt that I use, so I got this one. Always Alabama. And it's really tight because I got a lot up here. And it said that women. Hold on. Women, my women, let me talk to you all who are top heavy. Okay, it is a little bit more uh, challenging for you all to work out because, you know, when you run, you know, they're moving, anything that you do. But when you're on a bike or something like that, or swimming, that's a good activity to do to get your cardio up because um, I believe you burn the most calories when you're running. I believe walking is a safer you know, it's easier on your muscles or on your, your legs and your bones, especially if you're not used to running, to just walk, you know, fast. Um, then also you've got swimming and then biking. So if you're a heavier set person or you've got a big bosom, you might want to consider speed walking or biking or swimming uh, to get your cardio up, okay? Uh, the other things that are really good for losing weight, of course, is muscle uh, strengthening exercises, working with the weights, okay? Um, something real easy, you know, that you can do. When you work out with weights, you keep burning uh, calories even after you work out because 
once you work out the muscle, right? The muscle had to work to do like this exercise with the weight, right? And then when you stop, your muscle is still burning calories. At least that's the way it was explained to me. Whereas cardio, once you finish running or biking or swimming, your heart rate returns to normal and your body stops burning that extra calories. But somehow when you use your muscle groups and you're doing strengthening exercises, the muscle continues to burn calories. So that's why if you want to lose weight, it's good for you to do not only cardio, uh, walking or something, but it's also good for you to do uh, weightlifting. And you don't have to lift a lot. You can have a two and a half, five or 10 pound weight, 15 pound weight, and just look up one of the channels. There's a lot of channels that show you how to um, ease into, you know, the weight loss or whatever. All right, so let's do two more sets of uh, position two and two more sets of position three, and then I'll just move my bike up because I'm not gonna do any more, I don't think. Okay, I'll wait till we get to 30 minutes. <sighs> this is so much fun, isn't it? Isn't it fun? It's fun. Trying to drink three of these a day. Yesterday, I drank two. So remember, water is like a diuretic, cleans out your system. The more water you drank from me, the flatter my stomach was because you're getting rid of all of the uh, crap, I guess, that's in your body, all of the bad stuff, right? So, and if you drink a lot of water, you'll notice you'll want more water. So, drink at least, try to drink at least half a gallon of water a day, or at least six cups of water a day, at least. Okay, it's like 26 minutes. So if you're going for 30 minutes, you got about four more minutes. Remember, if you're going to stop at 30 or stop at 45, do your stretching. You got to do that stretching. You got to stretch your thigh muscle, your quad muscle. We didn't stretch the quad, but uh, calf muscle, arm muscles. Always stretch for 30 minutes after the workout, okay? Always stretch for 30 minutes after your workout. As far as the motorcycle is concerned, we still need to the back of the motorcycle, but he drove it away. There's no indication that anybody delivered I'm going to watch Queen Latifah in Equalizer. Uh, there used to be a program called Equalizer a long time ago.
super white gentleman. He dressed very well, and he was an older guy, but he could fight, and he was pretty cool. And it was called the Equalizer. That ran for like several seasons. So then they came out with the Equalizer with Denzel Washington. That was good, and now they've got an Equalizer series with Queen Latifah, and this is good also. So all three of the shows and the series were good. I feel good too, you know, after I exercise, I feel more confident. When I'm sleeping, I'm not moving around. Apparently when I sleep, I move around a lot. But after I exercise, then I don't. So this is going to be six days a week. I guess I'll videotape one. And hopefully I'll be able to do the in video, in video thing on the thing. So you can see. So when I do the video workout with the cycle workout video, I'll put the cycle workout video at the bottom corner so you can see the cycle workout video and me doing it. But I don't know how to do it yet. Keep up the pace, keep up the pace, don't slow down, don't slow down. If you have to, just pick it down a couple of notches, but don't slow down. Keep the same rhythm. Rebelsis works differently than any other diabetes pill to lower blood sugar in all three of these ways. Increases insulin, decreases sugar, and slows food. The majority of people taking Rebelsis lowered their blood sugar and reached an A1C of less than 7. People taking Rebelsis lost up to 8 pounds. Okay, so we're going to do position 2, which is straight up in about 20 seconds. So much easier when you have a TV. <laughs> I love my TV. Tell your provider about vision problems or changes. Taking Rebelsis with a sulfonyl urea or insulin. Okay. Let's get up position two. Five, four, three, two, one. Up at position two. Okay. One. Oh, remember, turn your bike all the way up. It's easier. One thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand. Let's do it for 20 seconds. Six, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand, ten, one thousand, eleven, one thousand, twelve, one thousand. 13, 1,000, 14, 1,000, 15, 1,000, 16, 1,000, 17, 1,000, 18, 1,000, 19, 1,000, 20, 1,000. All right. Woo. Okay, you can take it back down. I'm taking mine to six. Okay, in a minute, we'll do position three. Four, we'll do that for 20 seconds also. Might as well. You know, the last two. Uh, one more position, two, two more positions. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Put it in the high one. And then put your butt, like you got your butt out. So you're going up on your legs. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand. Five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand, ten, one thousand, eleven, one thousand, twelve, one thousand, thirteen, one thousand, fourteen, one thousand, fifteen, one thousand, sixteen, one thousand, seventeen, one thousand, eighteen, one thousand, nineteen, one thousand, twenty, one thousand, twenty-one thousand, thirty-one thousand, forty-one thousand, fifty-one thousand, sixty-one thousand, seventy-one thousand, eighty-one thousand, ninety-one thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, six hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand, nine hundred thousand, ten thousand, eleven thousand, twelve thousand, thirteen thousand, fourteen thousand, fifteen thousand, sixteen thousand, seventeen thousand, eighteen thousand, nineteen thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, six hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand, nine hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, six hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand, nine hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, six hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand, nine hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, six hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand, nine hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, six hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand, nine hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, six hundred thousand, seven
The transaction for the truck was between you and Steven. Steven's a grown man. There's no evidence of any joint venture or joint enterprise or commercial venture between Steven and his dad, which would put you in contractual privity with his father. So we are compelled to dismiss your complaint in its entirety. Uh, as to the countersuit, sir, Mr. Romero, countersuing for the balance due on the Corvette, the plaintiff actually admitted very early on that he still owes you $2,400 for the Corvette. We are going to give him a $500 credit for the oil leak that still has not been completed, that was a part of this transaction, and we're going to order the plaintiff, as a consequence of that credit, to pay you $1,900 for the remaining balance on the Corvette. We're also going okay, to so we're going to do a position. Two for 20 minutes. We're going to do that in 20 seconds. So if you want, you can get ready and go ahead and move your selector dial to the heaviest setting. Makes it easier when you're sitting up. But if you have a fancy bike, you might not have to do that. For me, I got to do it because it's not very stable. But if you have a nice bike, you might not have to do it. Okay, four, five, three, two, one. Okay, up position two. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand, ten, one thousand, eleven, one thousand, twelve, one thousand, thirteen, one thousand, fourteen, one thousand, fifteen, one thousand, sixteen, one thousand, seventeen, one thousand, eighteen, one thousand, nineteen, one thousand, and twenty. Good job. Woo! Back to six. To let y'all know that I've been picking my black seed oil, one tablespoon in the morning, I drink water, tablespoon black seed oil, and tablespoon of lemon juice and some more water. So it's good to chase it with lemon juice. You don't want to chase it with honey because you know that's more sugar and stuff like that. So, okay, so we're about to do our last set of position two, position three, okay? Each one, let's go ahead and hold position two for 30 seconds, but position three is still gonna be 20 seconds. Okay, let's see. Okay, in 20 seconds. Oh, yeah. This is wonderful. I feel alive. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, have position two for 30 seconds. I'm just going to count slow, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, keep going, keep going, don't stop. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, work through the burn, work through the burn. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, ah, 27, 28, 29, 30. Woo! Okay, my legs are burning. Burn in. Whew. Oh, my legs are burning. Are yours burning? That's good. If you gotta take it down to one, take it down to one. You gotta take it to two, take it to two. But just keep going. The key is not to stop. Now, if you feel lightheaded, then of course you need to slow down and then slowly stop, right? So say I feel lightheaded. Oh my God, I feel lightheaded. Okay, so I'm gonna slow down, slow down. Okay, then stop, okay? And you're still feeling lightheaded. Put your feet down and then just stand up like this, okay? And then uh, get help or, you know, rest of it. Your heart rate goes back to normal, okay? So if you feel dizzy or lightheaded, or you have some kind of pain or something, um, 
You want to slow down. Don't stop abruptly. Just slow down, okay? <sighs> All right, I'm going to watch the equalizer. Let's see here. Get going on. I love my TV, but the TV is not helping me. The TV don't pay my bills. The TV don't clean my house. The TV really does not do anything for me except make me lazy. I guess I could take responsibility, but I shall not. I shall not take responsibility. I shall blame the inanimate object because it talks and stuff. So is it really inanimate? Is it? I don't know. I mean, I'd say maybe. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Okay. All right, one more. Position three. We're going to just do that for 20 seconds because I don't think I can take 30 seconds. Okay? Do so safely and at your own pace, people. Do not ever push yourself to where you're hurting yourself. Okay, here we go. Four, three, two, one. Okay, 20 seconds. Position three, butt over the seat. One, two, three, four, five, whoo, six. Y'all see? Seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, Lord. Okay, let's see what's going on on my show. Look at that old lady. She looks pretty good for age on the TV. See? Okay, let's go forward so I get closer to y'all, so I can see y'all better. Okay, there we go. All right. Well, is he good looking? Well, then you have the answer. <laughs> oh, I hate first dates. Relax. Try to enjoy yourself. And if it goes bad, just give me a call. I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure one of them are going to get killed. Hey, Mal, it's me. <laughs> Tonight was amazing. Meet me on Station 5 so I can tell you all about it. just been killed that's gotta mess up your day yeah she's very upset rightly so the equalizer I think this is uh, episode 3 I'm gonna go ahead and turn mine up to to 8 so I turn mine all the way up oh great so now you blame me listen next time we go out you just have to pay for protection. No, there won't be a next time. I'll never drive. Okay, back to seven. It wasn't my fault. She spoiled as a problem. And then if I get a cushy life, what do you expect? I don't know. I don't like that nothing is ever her fault. Well, you were exactly the same. I was nothing like that. Remember that coffee shop your father brought back from Jamaica? Because he went to vacation, he took his whole life. He loved that man. Do you remember what happened to it? Father shattered on the floor. You denied it until the cows came home. But we knew. Queen Latifah's daughter on this show is such a spoiled brat. But I guess that's how teenagers are. If you're a teenager, my apologies if you're not spoiled, but. <laughs> I do wonder what happened to Queen Latifah, like right here on her forehead, she's got that indent, that crease. I wonder what that's from. Sorry about your loss. How does this work? Start by telling me what happened. Police claim that Malcolm jumped from his apartment window 
But that's impossible. That's impossible. Y'all, Malcolm did not jump. What? No. Malcolm wouldn't do this. I'm sorry. Did you take all these pictures? Been shooting him for 30 years. Somewhere along the way, I became the neighborhood historian. They're really beautiful, Charles. Thank you. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry for. Seems like the three of you were close friends. If Malcolm didn't commit suicide, who would have come out there? That's right. She asking the right questions. Who after Malcolm? Addicts in the park. Real estate developers trying to force everybody out. Malcolm's the one who stood up in the mall. Did you do that? There's a lot of people off. It was a suicide note. And it was verified to be in Malcolm's handwriting. I know it doesn't make sense. That's why we called you. You seem really certain about Malcolm. I have never been more certain about anything in my life. Can you help? Yo, Queen Latifah can help. Ah, oh, what is her name on this? Still can't believe it. I forgot the character's it's name. Gone. It's over. And you will smile. You will take one of those moving vouchers they offer and get out of here like me. Get out, girl. McCall. That's right. McCall is going to handle it. I'm be so sad when I'm done exercising because then I got to go in and clean the kitchen and prepare dinner and cut up my carrots from my healthy snack. Ugh. I mean, yay, carrots. And I already have a salad I can eat. But y'all know I might have a piece of bologna because my husband bought it. He was so wrong for that. Uh, 180 calories, 33% fat. It might help with brain fog. So you really should need it, but I'm eating it. Person who visit Detective Dante? McCall done found something. Ah, she done found a boot mark. Like he was trying not to go out the window, but they threw him over anyway. Y'all know they threw Malcolm over. Threw him over the balcony, you know. I found this by Malcolm's window. It's from a two grand special edition pair of Jordan 1 frags. Way out of Malcolm's price range. Two K for kicks. It's offensive. <clears throat> and another fire. Did you make it? Nope. Jay's weren't in his apartment or on his feet when he died. But it doesn't scream foul play. They could have belonged to a friend. There was a history of drugs and depression, plus a note points to suicide. Well, normally I would agree. But most suicide jumpers land face first. Malcolm landed on his back, which is more in line with being pushed or falling. That's right, McCall knows. Wait. Look at that. The syntax changes. Good kid, Mad City. Malcolm had a Kendrick poster. That's not a typo. That's the name of a track. Play Mad City. Did I tell you what my DJ handle was in high school? DJ, I wish I was popular. Okay, baby, I want to stop sharing with you if you're going to use it against me. Just play the song, man. If I the rules and crips all got along, they probably got me down by the end of the song. Like Sounds about a gang murder. I'm almost done. I only got this much more to drink. And then I'm going to do another one. Try to drink three a day, like I said. But drink at least six cups of water. Drink a cup of water with every meal. That'll get you at least, hopefully, three to five cups. I'm going to speed it up. Suspected two murders. You know, seems like a nice guy. Why would a gang want to murder the local... 213 calories burned. Let's ask. <laughs> For lunch, I'm going to have bologna, which is fattening. Uh, salad with oil dressing and macaroni and cheese. So both of those are bad. But I'm going to have carrots for a snack later, so that's good. Thank you. 
What kind of respectable organization starts off a relationship with a new member like this? We move back to mom. Please. I ain't never been enough to be his mom. Oh. You got jokes. That bike is mom. Was that bike? Son of baby, it's gonna come with training wheels. Stop killing you, dog. Go pat them. Miss Case, can you? Do I know you? I doubt it. But I heard you and Malcolm King. You seen him lately? What, you, uh, you a cop or something? No. But you made a big mistake. Is that my bills? Oh, y'all, McCall in between one gang and another gang. She got her hot motorcycle there. She's all in black. What's she going to do? She's going to get out of it. You know why? Because she's McCall. And she's the equalizer. And she's CIA, FBI, all that really into one. Itchy, scratchy, oh my goodness. Get new Charmin Ultra Strong. It just cleans better, so your family can use less. Hello, clean bottom. <laughs> the joy to go with Charmin. Fast forwarding through the commercials. It's so wonderful, y'all. We can do that now. Back in the day, once you watched something, that was it. You couldn't watch it again. You couldn't slow anything down. You couldn't rewind anything. These are good times. We're living in people. Good times. Okay, we're back in the thick of it. McCall's in the thick of it, y'all. What's going to happen? It's episode four. It takes a village. Episode four, y'all. takes a village. Ain't so chatty now, are you? What made you think you could just roll up in our spot, huh? Asking about Malcolm. Because I'm going to light every last one of y'all up in here. If you don't drop them weapons right now, then you lady, but that's supposed to be. But this, this is a one of a kind, infinite low metacarpal special. Custom grip. You know what you're going to do? Give us a stern lecture? You know what your problem is? You talk too much. What? Huh? Drop some guns right now. Get your ass up. Get up and get out of here. I better not see you again unless you're in school. And if anybody even thinks about messing with him, I'm coming back. I know you think you got away with it. She did the expendable thing, you know, a point like that, and they're like, oh, what you gonna do with that? And then she starts shooting, you know, because she got her snipers up on the roof, yo. Snipers and the archers, that's the way to be. Back in the day, it was the archers because you way far away, and then the snipers because you hidden. And hopefully safe. I mean, it's not easy being a sniper, I'm just saying. For the movie, you're not in the action, you're hidden somewhere. you got close enough for it to work. Don't hate. Not only did I get close enough to clone Gang's phone, but he is making a call right now. Ah, she cloned his phone, yo. Disappointing. Knew those names before she knew they had power. 
Maybe they did. But he got cut down just like them. I thought about folks like us, when we stand, we fall. I spent most of my life fighting for the people. But in all my years, the people never win. Malcolm said I've lost hope. He was right. I let him down. Betrayed him. Betrayed him how? How? I was paid to sway the residents to move out. But Malcolm was a problem. I had to spare keep to Malcolm's apartment for emergencies. The day of his murder, I gave it to Kenya. Seven more minutes. He said he just wanted to scare him. You know, teach him a lesson. I didn't think they would kill him. Hey y'all, in Make Believe TV Land, whenever they say, oh, I gave him the keys to the apartment, but they were supposed to rough him up, not kill him, they gonna kill him. When they say, oh, I told him where he was so they could go and like scare him, rough him up. I didn't know he was gonna kill him. They always kill him. TV Land, they always kill him. Not rough him up, not scare him, not beat him. And now they feel sorry. You shouldn't have been giving out the key. What should they think of you? You know you have his blood on your hands. So what you gonna do about it? I'll do anything to make it right. Go to jail? You go to you jail? You got paid. Who paid you? Kenya. But that's not where the money came from. People have been trying to move in on this neighborhood for years. No one more than Robert Harrington. Robert Harrington? Of Harrington Plaza in Midtown. At the end of the day, nothing's gonna stop him from getting it. I'm sure of it. No one had more to gain from us moving out than him. I just can't prove it. So Kenya works for Harrington. He knows not that the people can't win. Giants like Harrington just know how to exploit weak links in order to divide us. <sighs> the current towns have a final act but he can't move forward on his redevelopment plan unless he gets permission from the residents. Malcolm has been a thorn in his side, organized sit-ins, filed dozens of complaints, got the whole neighborhood to do the same. The slowdown is causing Harrington... Trying to make this seven minutes, y'all, go faster. It's going so slow. And if they just would have killed him, it would have turned him into a martyr. Disgusting. That's why it's destroyed of a great And we have to stop him. Or people are going to be on the streets. Anyone who gets in his way is going to get cut down just like Malcolm. Kenya may have killed them, but Harrington gave me orders. And I want them both. Between us and them, the money's on us. And that's what we do now, right? But first, we have to connect the dots between Harrington and Kenya. Any ideas? Actually, I do. Nice clothes. I miss the spot. I'll get to it. You know this is the men's locker room, right? I know this. Makes it hard to come after me. You're a little too small, huh? I think that applies here. Find any way to tell? Uh oh. No. See if we get to these. Yeah. Problem? Put on some shower shoes. Spread the fungus everywhere. Just nasty. You want to tell me why you're here before or after I flush you? To me, he sounds like Denzel Washington. I'll get straight to it. Not all the time, just sometimes. Kings Memorial. Take it, you knew him. Flushed him as a kid. He had his troubles, but he had potential, so I helped him be on the right path. But you knew that. Yeah. I also have a lead on his murder. I was told it was ruled a suicide. Meant to look like a suicide. Interested in helping me find his killer. I assume you have proof. Not only do I have proof, I have a witness. Yes, she does. Yo, let me holler at you, Ma. I got a thing. Yo, you know, I'm in the right. Kenya, you gotta follow. you got some new friends. I'm hurt. But I thought we were friends. We are. I swear. Friends keep each other's secrets. I'm telling my secrets too. I didn't tell them anything. Don't lie to me. 
We have low torque, y'all. I'll kill you too. Three minutes may come for you, bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Yep, yeah, we got Kenny and Denton right. Now we just gotta get him to flip on Harrison. Now watch your mouth, old man. I'll kill you too. You've gotten away with it in the past, but this one's gonna stick unless you play ball. Who ordered Malcolm's murder? You're looking at life, but it doesn't have to be this way. We already know Aaron's paid you to kill Malcolm. We just need to hear it from you. Okay, I'm going to turn it up to eight. It goes up to eight. So what's it going to be? 15 years or life? Right. The 5G Google Pixel is amazing at streaming videos. For example, take this stream here. See how smooth it is? Just a smooth 5G stream. It's the 5G Google Pixel from 4 dollars Okay, we're going to speed it up to last 50 seconds. You can have open window freshness, even with all the windows out. Enjoy fresh anytime with Febreze. Okay, so back to what I was complaining about. Improving my eating, trying to live a healthier lifestyle. Adding exercise and eating vegetables and cleaning out my meals. That's number one. Number two, keeping the downstairs clean, organizing, getting rid of stuff. Number three, part-time job. I only work two to three days a week, but it still kills me. Number four, uh... Running my new business and not making any sales because I'm not actively participating in my business. So that's going to step up. So I think that's pretty much all I can do. Uh, one, healthy lifestyle because your health is important. Two, organize and clean the house because, you know, I guess my husband likes that. Uh, it's easier too. Three, uh, get really good at my part-time job so I make even more money on my part-time job. And four uh be a successful entrepreneur um e r and d uh business health it stands for entrepreneur research and development business health i'll put my website at the bottom drop me a line let me know about your business and how we can work together and uh, eventually my business needs to be on the forefront you know once i uh get the other three done and plus i gotta do the budget Okay, YouTube family, as always, thank you very much. Please put any subscriptions or any ideas you have um, in the comments. I reach out to each and every one of my subscribers. So hopefully someday when I get up to 1,000, I can even do that. Also, people, come closer. Okay, I work part-time at the Waffle House in Hopewell on Plaza Drive. So it's Hopewell, Virginia. So it would really help me out if you all would consider liking the Waffle House in Hopewell, Virginia on Plaza Drive. I'm trying to get, I'm going to get it up to about, I'm trying to get it to 1 million likes by December. And right now it's only got like 160 something, maybe 170. So I need to push that way up. Just like uh, in Korea. Push it, push it up. All right, that was uh, the Wolfpack. Uh, about uh, the
they had aircraft and they would push the aircraft way up like that. It was pretty good. It was a pretty good scene. Anyway, thank you. And uh, my dog just unhooked my phone. Thank you. Please subscribe, share my video, like my video, and then like the Waffle House in Hopewell, Virginia, Plaza Drive. Thank you. Goodbye. Woo. I drank almost all my water. And let's see here. My dog messed me up there. Okay, I burned 292 calories, which is good. I did, I was doing 5.2 miles per hour. My heart rate was an average 108, which is pretty good. It's got to be 105 for me to burn fat. To get into the fat zone, my heart rate's got to get to at least 105. All right then, goodbye.